Growing up, my grandparents owned a fur and leather store. Most of my friends and other people that I've kind of always associated with, they always had uh, small businesses or, you know, local businesses. You know, if I was going out, I wasn't going to big block stores. I was eating local, drinking local, going to local coffee shops. It would have been, I think, 2012. Kind of, you know, wanted something unique that nobody else had. Hadn't really thought of clothing. So after doing those first two designs, for myself personally, gained some spark. And then off of those, there was like 10 to 12 designs and pre-sale over 60 of people kind of demanding this new brand that naturally formed. The fabric's milled in Toronto. We bring everything back here ourselves. We even source local tags, local buttons. We have our hands on everything. Being a company the size we are, we're more nimble, so we have more control. We're not sending something off, and you know we have had a lot of pressure to go overseas, you know, make more money or whatever the case is. People think that you know it's it's nice to know the people who are doing your work and keeping it in that community, keeping them employed, especially during these times. Quality is just top notch in everything we do. So even if it's our clothing or things like our apothecary products, you know, we work with local artisans. It's kind of the model of growing other small businesses while we grow our own. So we actually credit the people who are making our secondary, I guess, products, which are very popular as well. And they're the best in their field, so we continue to bring them into our field. So just kind of having lifestyle, long living pieces that won't, you know, it's not a fast fashion, it's here to last a lifetime.